Hello, in this video I'm going to make some bacon that I got on Amazon. So I got this um, a while ago through Amazon Fresh. It came in this bag, so this is exactly how it came. I actually have not opened it. So let's see. No sugar added, hickory smoked uncured bacon. And I got it because it doesn't have um, nitrates, so it's supposed to be very tasty. Very nice. Yeah, so it looks like there's 12 servings per container and 50 calories a serving. So if I were to eat the entire package, that would be 600 calories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some bacon because I'm going to have breakfast here with some eggs. I'm going to have bacon and eggs for breakfast. But then I'm not going to eat it all. I'm going to save some of it um, in the fridge for later. And I'm going to make uh, BLTs at some point, either today for lunch or even tomorrow for lunch. So I'll refrigerate uh, the unused portion. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and I've got some scissors here, and it's going to be a little bit of a mess here, but it's okay. I'm just going to put it straight into the pan. Currently, the pan is off, so it's not on. I'm going to wait until all of the bacon is in the pan, and I'm going to go ahead and be right back. I'm going to toss this. We'll be really careful where it's raw meat, so I'm going to be very, very careful here. And I'm going to see if I can just dump it all out. Now I'm going to get my hands dirty. It's a requirement perhaps, of making bacon. Bacon's a bit messy, like you'll see when we start cooking it. Um, that's that's really the biggest con to bacon. Um, that's a lot of bacon. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to eat all of it now. Uh, it will obviously shrink uh, once uh, I start cooking it. I'm going to go ahead and dump this. All right, so let's go ahead and peel these off. So you've got those beautiful slices. you got a slice there. And I hope it all fits in the pan. I'm just going to make it fit. Because, um, yeah, I have a bigger pan and I should have used that, which I could probably still transfer this to another pan. I might do that. Let's just see how, how this looks after it's in here. Yeah, look at all those wonderful bacon strips. Mm, smells really good, by the way. It smells amazing. That's how you know it's good bacon, because it smells good when it's raw. You know, it happens with meats too, but it's rare. You, know, you get a good meat, it'll actually smell good. You know, if you ever buy ground meat and it smells good. Uh, in my opinion, that's a sign of good quality meat. Mm, smells delicious. All right, that's a lot of bacon. I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly and I'm gonna transfer it to, to a bigger pan because I don't think that's going to be uh, sufficient for our cooking needs. I mean, that's, that pan is not big enough. Get all the bacon grease off my hands. Yeah, working with raw meat, it's it's, and bacon in particular, right? It does make a bit of a mess. I'm gonna do one more scrubbing here. Make sure I get all that bacon grease off my hands. All right. Almost got it. I'm just gonna dry my hands here with a paper towel just to get anything else off of my hands. And I'm gonna get a bigger pan because again, this one's not gonna cut it. Actually, yeah, I mean, it might, it might be able to do it. Let's just, let's just go for it. I'm going to go ahead and turn on high. Let's go ahead and start the cooking. I think I might be able to get it all in this pan. The other pan I have, um, it's, it's big, but stuff sticks to the pan. This is a better pan, so let's just go with this. All right, now the cooking begins. And so basically, you want to cook it until it curls up and it looks, um, you know, really nice. And I'll just go ahead and keep filming here so you can actually see the whole process of the bacon cooking. So, gonna wash my hands again, take that opportunity while it's heating up and I don't have to tend to it, just to really get all that bacon grease off. Yeah, I tend to be perhaps overly careful when I cook meats, you know, any surfaces that it touches. Uh, for example, I touched the, I, I turned down the, uh, the water here, so I'm gonna rinse off what I touched very carefully. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Very, very good. I think I am de -baconified. I think I've gotten all of the bacon off of my hands. Now you see it really start to crisp up. It's on high, so it's going to start sizzling. Just going to clean my work area over here really quickly because the bacon will be tending to very, very soon. 
for that sound. It's the sound of cooking bacon. And I think I have a fan here, I might have to turn it on. There's a fan above me. Yeah, it's getting there. There we go. Turn it up a little bit more. And you notice some of them are still together, so what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to get a fork and I'm going to separate those. I'm going to separate the bacon strips. Because you don't want them to stick together, right? You really want to separate them. I've already washed my hands, so I'm going to avoid having to go through all that again. In fact, I'm going to get another fork. Go. You see, it's a messy process, right? Two forks. So that, in my opinion, is the biggest con of bacon. If it wasn't so much work, I'd probably make bacon all the time. I mean, I bought this. I mean, it's been it's been a while since I got this. I don't think I got this on my last order. I think I got it on the order before, so from Amazon Fresh. So it's been sitting there for a while, and I've kind of just been procrastinating cooking it because it takes you know it takes some effort, it takes time. Got time this morning, so I thought, let me take the time to, to make some bacon. And again, I won't eat all of this. I'll use uh, what's left over for maybe some BLTs. You see, it's starting to shrink already. It's starting to come down in size. And again, I've got this on high, and I'm shocked it's not cooking faster. This is my first time, by the way, uh, making bacon with, with this particular um, stove. I haven't made bacon in a long time. It's been it's probably been over a year since uh, since I've had bacon. Yeah, it's really starting to brush. It smells really good. Looks like I've got the fan on. That's good. There's a light up here too. I can turn a light on. That might be better. Yeah, let's see. A light on, light off. Yeah, light, light on might be a little bit better so you can see what the bacon looks like. Mm. It smells so good. And feel free to fast forward the video if um, you, know, you want to see it cook. I'm just going to keep filming so you see everything. So you see how it cooks. So the bacon cook from start to finish, right? So from the actual Amazon packaging to an actual taste test. All right, so real time, no editing. Real life, right? This is what it's like to cook bacon. You get to see the difficulties, right? I have to use two forks <laughs> to separate it because of you know the issues with the hand. So that is again the biggest downside to bacon. But the biggest upside is obviously the taste. Look at all of that bacon grease in there. You see that? That's a lot of just pan up so you can see that. Look at all that. Just tons of bacon grease. And again, all of this bacon is what did what the package say? 50 calories a serving, 12 servings a package, so that's like I don't know, 600 calories. If you pack it your way, I wonder how many pieces you actually get. I'm not really sure. It's in the trash. I don't want to have to dig through it and have to wash my hands again. But you see, it's quite a bit. Quite a bit of pieces. You could easily feed several people with this. I and mean, people don't usually eat, you know, this much bacon. Certainly enough for two people. Uh, probably enough for three. And even four if everyone just gets a little bit of bacon. So you see you got one portion, two portion. Now you can easily divide this into fours. Yeah, probably, but it's better to divide it into twos. Four threes. And then you get more bacon. And it's just going to take a little bit here. I'm glad I have the fan on because it's making a lot of smoke. Mm -hmm. So it does take some time to cook, right? It takes a little bit of time. The only thing missing in this video is the smell. If you could somehow smell this with me, you would be completely shocked. Really nice. To give you an idea of a working bowl too, you know. You know, I look at bacon, I say, okay, bacon, I want it. Then but I don't think about all the work involved in making it, but it's worth it. It's worth it, right? Because now I'm gonna have bacon for breakfast and I'm basically making my lunch. So I can take some of these cold pieces of bacon once it's done, I'll put it in the fridge. And I can, they'll be cold, and then I can put them on, on tomato. I've got tomato, I've got avocado, I've got some, some spring mix, and I can put that with mayo and make a BLT, right? And that will be awesome. Just like tons of mayonnaise, tons of bacon, put on some vegetables in there, like tomatoes and some like spring mix or lettuce. 
and then some bacon, and throw on a slice of Swiss cheese, boom, good to go, right? Good to go. And it doesn't have to be hot, right? I mean, you can eat it cold that way, um, which I'll probably do. I'll probably have cold bacon on my deal, which is fine. So you can heat it up, and then what'll happen is you'll get, um, you'll get the melting of the cheese, which is nice. All right, starting to get there, it's starting to get there. See how it's really changing texture now, right? And again, I'm cooking this very close to high. Uh, this stove is really old, so you can't really tell what it's on. But it's like pretty much at the highest setting. One of the highest. Let me see if I can... I don't know if I want to turn it up too much more. It'll start, you know, sparking everywhere. You know, it does that. It goes, it's one of the things with bacon. You get bacon grease everywhere, so... I'd have to watch for that. I'm going to stand back, keep my distance from the bacon. I remember... In the past, cooking bacon and like the sparks, you know, like grease flies, get you in the face. You got to be careful with bacon. Look at that. Look at that color. You see that? That's the color you want, okay? For the most part. You want it a little bit crispier than that all the way through, at least in my opinion. Um, you know, everyone does their bacon a little bit different. I'm going to lower the heat. I feel like it's starting to get a little bit out of control here with the sparking. So, keep cooking here. And I'm just going to step back, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to put the bacon on a plate. This is something else that uh, is very educational. So I'm going to take a plate, and I'm going to take some paper towels, and watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a single paper towel on a plate, just like this, so you can see. Okay? And I'm going to put the bacon on here. So when the bacon is done, I'm gonna take the bacon and put it on here. What that's gonna do is it's gonna take some of the grease out of the bacon. This is just a trick that uh, I've learned over the years. That way it absorbs um, you know, a lot of the fat. Because you know you don't wanna like pour all that fat onto your plate. I don't, I don't know, it's not something I would wanna do, so. <laughs> this video's a little bit long, but it's okay. If you're still with me. If you're not starving yet, <laughs> you will be when it's done. I mean, this is, look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. Really nice. See how it shrank. You know, if you rewind, if you rewind the video and you watch the beginning, when you first put the bacon in. And I'm glad I used this pan. Look, no staking. The other pan I have is much bigger, and um, it's just not very good. It's got ridges and stuff sticks. This is my go-to pan for most things. It's just a regular hammered copper pen. There's some nice ones on Amazon. I think this might be the one by Gotham, the pen. I'm not really sure though. I'd have to turn it upside down to check, but the Gotham, I know Gotham has a really nice hammered copper pen uh, on Amazon. This might be it, I'm not positive. I think it is, it's, it's, it's a solid pen. Look at all that grease. Look at all of that piece. Look at that. So now it's really starting to cook. Look at that little piece. That piece is ready, probably. Just gonna let it sit. It's really cooking now. So all of that grease is not gonna be put on the plate, which you'll see in a minute. This is good. We're almost done. Right, we're almost done. So we'll do a little bit more, just a little bit more. And you don't have to keep moving it like I've been doing. I've just been doing that just out of like, you know, to do something instead of like sitting here staring at the bacon. <laughs> so, since I'm filming this. All right, look at that. Oh yeah. It needs to be a little bit crispier. It still feels a little bit soggy, so I'm just gonna do a little bit more. I, I know maybe I'm overcooking it. I'm not like a master cook or anything, but um, breakfast is my specialty. So every morning, I usually have eggs every single morning, um, most of the time. Sometimes I'll have oatmeal, you know, but most of the time I just, I make eggs. I'm a, I'm a breakfast person. I've always been one of those people, I wake up hungry, I wake up and I'm starving. I need to eat, I feel like I'm gonna die if I don't eat, I'm so hungry. So I'm one of those people that just wakes up hungry and breakfast for me has always been the biggest meal of the day for me, like my most important meal. Some people wake up and they can't eat. I'm not one of those people, I just, just wake up and I gotta eat. Got like 11 hours of sleep last night, so, um, and I was tired, so I've been, you know, not eating for several hours. So I thought, let me, let me make some bacon, have a nice breakfast and go for a walk. Look at that. 
look at all of that wonderful bacon. Wonderful. I think, I think it might be done. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just to really make sure, right? I want to make sure. You see how there's some whiteness there? That's, that's fine, though. It's not too bad. That one looks done. I'm just going to wait just a little bit more here just to make sure it's really, really cooked. And you see it's really not that much bacon now that it's all cooked, you see it? I mean, it's really, I mean, there's a lot there, but it's not that much. I have a hard time going out and eating breakfast at restaurants and stuff because you can just buy it and cook it yourself. So because I know how to make breakfast, it's one of those meals that I really don't like going out. I don't like going out for breakfast. It's not one of those things I like doing because you can make it at home. And honestly, this is going to be so much better than most of the bacon you can get at a restaurant. I mean, and I've had I've had some good bacon out there, so this is going to be. A, I recently actually went out to breakfast with some friends, and I had bacon, and it was supposed to be like this famous bacon, the famous place. I mean, the line out the door, but right? we had it was an hour wait to get breakfast at this place. So that's good bacon according to you know society. So let's go ahead and see what this tastes like once it's done. I'm going to go ahead and take it out now. I think it's done. I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to transplant it very carefully to this plate. So I'm just gonna do it really carefully here and I'll show you what it looks like. So one. Oh yes, definitely done. Just use some tongs here to grab it. A little bit harder one for it. Actually, I'm just gonna use two forks and I'll transplant it and I'll show you once it's on the thing. There we go. Tongs would be good, but I don't have any within arm's reach here, so I'm just gonna Improvise and use two forks. I probably should have used two paper towels. I'll show you why in a minute. So that was something that could be improved on. So if you're doing this yourself, um, you can use two paper towels when you're transplanting it. And I'm gonna explain why in a minute. Look at all of that bacon grease. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to pour this down the sink, right? Um, what I usually do is I let it dry, just let it cool. It'll harden, okay? And then um, I take uh, a plastic bag or a paper bag and I put it in there, and I throw that in the trash, okay? Because it's bacon grease, so I'm pretty sure you don't want to put it down your sink. I, I don't think that's good. So you wanna put it in the trash, but you wanna let it dry first, okay? So just let it cool off and it'll harden. So I'm just gonna set it over here, okay? And, and let's take a look here at our wonderful bacon. So here's what I was talking about. You see here how we have, uh, see how it's soaked through the paper? So I should have folded it over. You know, I thought about doing that, but I didn't. That's something I should have done. All right, I'm just gonna take a little piece here, just blow on it. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. It's a little bit hot, but it's gonna just blow on it a little bit. I'm gonna try it, here we go. Mmm, 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 oh, that's perfect. Mmm, 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 it's crunchy. Wow, worth it. This is worth it. It took 18 minutes to cook this from start to finish, and it was worth it. I'd do it again. Better than the restaurant bacon, okay? I had bacon at this really fancy place. Well, I don't know if it was fancy, but popular, right? One hour wait for breakfast. Bacon wasn't this good. This is better. And you can get it on Amazon. I like it. It's awesome.